Welcome to part 9 in our series covering the urban soil health evaluation. In this video we will discuss how to assess our site for debris and soil which is found on part A of the urban soil health evaluation sheet. Contact us at the email shown to obtain the evaluation sheet. This evaluation we're doing is our debris evaluation. We're looking at debris on the surface of our site and also within our hole that we've dug also. So when we talk about debris at a site, we're not talking about just rocks. It could have just been rocky soil. So that's, we need a little bit more indication than that. So we're looking at glass, construction material, concrete, those are the things we're looking at to see with the debris. The debris helps us indicate maybe a past use of this site. Urban sites have been populated for hundreds of years, and this lets us know some of the past uses. It gives us some indications of what happened before then. So if we look at our site here, we don't have any debris on the surface, so that is good. But once we dug into our hole, we did find some brick. So this is telling us that there were some past uses, maybe a building was here, a road, we're not sure, but there are, we did find a brick and another tile. Um, tiles were often used for drainage, these old clay tiles. So these are indicators that there were some past usage and we probably need to look more into it to find out about what happened at this site. So debris is really important to know when we're looking at sites to give us some indication, not only of how well the plants will be able to establish themselves, but also to know if we need to worry about contamination. Our site showed some evidence of buried debris, but nothing that appears to be a major barrier. So we'll score our site a five for debris and soil. However, be sure to make observations at several spots at your site. In the next video, part 10, we'll discuss how to assess our site for pet usage.